Botox has a reputation for erasing away the years by smoothing away wrinkles on your face, but it has other uses in the medical world too. For example, it's used to treat people who have a condition that causes excess sweating, and now doctors are using it to treat enlarged prostates. More on a new study from Mayo Clinic. These guys have a lot in common. They're over 50, active, and all at risk of developing an enlarged prostate. It's called benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. And it's a condition that involves the overgrowth of normal tissue in the prostate. Dr. Lance Minders says it's a normal part of aging, but BPH causes symptoms, including difficulty urinating, as well as increased frequency and urgency. Treatment options include medication, surgery, and less invasive options, such as heat therapy, to burn away excess tissue. And now doctors at Mayo Clinic are studying another option, Botox. Using ultrasound guidance, doctors inject the Botox into the part of the prostate that is overgrown and squeezing the urethra. The medicine causes those tissues to relax, allowing urine to flow more normally. Well, there's very good preliminary evidence that these drugs can not only relax the musculature, much like some of the medications do, but additionally, it may actually uh, atrophy or reduce the uh, the size of the prostate. By up to 50 percent. It may only last six, nine months, perhaps a year, but if there's truly a shrinkage of the prostate, that's going to take some time to regenerate. So we think the capacity is possibly to last longer. Not all men with BPH will benefit from Botox. It's geared toward those who are considering medication and those who'd like to get off it. But Dr. Minders hopes Botox will prove to be one more minimally invasive option for many men. Botox is not risk-free, but so far, people in the study have not had adverse reactions. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.